What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I have some pretty epic little easter eggs for you guys. Now you know there's scannable objects on certain planets. I have found three which are really interesting. One being about the Exo Stranger, another one about Atheon and another one about Eris Morn. Today I'm going to show you the location and how to get to each and every one. But before we go into the video guys, if you do enjoy it, leaving a like really does help me out. And if you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the first one we're going to take a look at is the Exo Stranger. Go to IO and you want to travel to the Lost Oasis right here. So you want to fast travel to here if you're already on the planet or you want to fly down to there if you're somewhere else. And once you spawn in, as I should do in a quick second, hopefully, because you know how long this game takes to load. Here we go. You want to jump on your sparrow and follow the direction I take right here. Now the Exo Stranger is a, well, a real strange character to be honest. Uh, Bungie ain't got time to explain what they don't have time to explain. Basically they completely ignored her out of this game. Well, they said they did. I remember Luke Smith interview about how her story ended at the end of Destiny 1's campaign where she gave you the Stranger's rifle and that was that. Nothing else is coming of her, which is a bit of a shame because she is an actual real um, interesting character to learn about but yeah it is what it is and if Bungie don't want to include her in, a, in their game then that's the end of that so yeah we'll end up at this kind of vex time gate thing right here and if we scan it you hear this I wonder whatever happened to that exo who warned us about the black garden I hope she's okay and yes, a little sneaky uh, easter egg um, to do with a stranger. Simple as that. Now the next one we're going to take a look at is Atheon. Okay, so Atheon is located, well not Atheon so to speak, but uh, the reference to Atheon is located on the map Nessus. So what you want to do is you want to bring up Nessus and you want to travel to uh, Watcher's Grave, which is right here. I'm going to fast travel back. I just found the quickest possible route of showing you guys of this. That's why I'm already here. But yeah, it's quite interesting. Uh, the actual reference to Atheon, the water glass bus. Probably the best raid we've had in the history of Destiny, without a doubt. So once you spawn here, you want to just pull out your spell. Really, ain't got to pull out your spell. You just got to run to this teleporter here. Simple as this, and jump through it. Now, there is plenty of Vex in here, which you may need to take care of if you want to hear this properly, because it is like a scannable item. And or scannable object, which you can, well, it gives you a little brief story of the Atheon and a few other things. So yeah, so you want to follow it through, follow this cave system, chamber of water. You will come to. Um, just forget these enemies. You can take them out if you want to, but it's not necessary. Um, then you can come over here, and you can see it right there. Now I'm just going to take out these enemies. So. You can actually hear what's going on. There we go. There's another one. I love this weapon. You're down. Well, just one more, but yeah, you should be alright over there. So if we go over to it and scan it, you will hear this. I'm getting some weird readings from this conflux. Hey, remember the old vault of glass? There are some fractured headers here marked Atheon, Secreon, Theosion. So yeah, there we have it guys, uh, a scannable object in reference to Atheon. So now I'm going to show you guys Eris Morn. Okay, so the Eris Morn Easter egg is located within the tower. So first things first, you need to do the Flory's Lava Challenge. So pick that up and do that. I've already done it on mine. Once you've done that, you want to head in this direction. I'm going, you want to make your way down towards Ikora and Hawthorne. Um, but yes, it's a scannable object, which is it's a weird one actually, because you actually have to basically get out the map to get to it, kind of. So yeah, it's definitely a weird one. You could probably jump up and scan it. And um, we'll take it, we'll check that out. Because it's actually located on that vent up there. Can you reach it? No, we can't. So we're going to have to get out the map. So we're going to jump up on here. Jump up on here. And then you want to jump up to where this cat is. If it will let me back on there. Nope. <laughs> 
There we go. Jump up again. And then you want to jump across to, you can see that thing there? You got to jump across to that. So yeah, let's try it. There we go, got there. And then you just simply investigate. Simple as that. And it says, I think this used to be a terminal used by Eris Morn. Lots of notes in here about the Hive. Their Prince Crota, the Taken King, Oryx. Huh, I wonder where she went off to. So yes, we wonder where she did indeed go off to. Was she in the tower? Well, she obviously was when the Cabal attacked. But did she die? Did she make it out? Who knows? Hopefully we see her sometime in the future. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Those are three pretty little epic Easter egg references to characters we all are familiar with. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for stopping by. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.